athletes of the ring to square off on this occasion. Great challenge here. Who will get the better end of this one? J-Rock in no hurry to get in the ring. Not up against D-Ray 3000 tonight. two decades worth of experience. D-Ray 3000, the righteous maker. Quickness, run and gun offense. He likes to stick and move these combinations continuously. This should be a really fun battle. And J-Rock again takes the low road and gets out. D-Ray 3000, a very inspirational performer very highly entertaining, a fan favorite. He has had some very brutal fights before, just as J-Rock has. And he is loaded with personality. And these two have faced a who's who in pro wrestling. With success. Possess excellent counters and reverses. J Rock wants back in championship contention. That's what this is all about. And he has to prove it verbally and physically. All aspiring top stars, and even those that are at his level, have to know that he is the kingdom. He is the kingdom of wrestling. The kingdom is his. He's on top. He's the man. J-Rock will try to use ground and pound and submissions. But maybe D-Ray 3000 can beat him to the punch. Both of these men wrestle very intelligently and have excellent conditioning. Both have tremendous physical toughness and championship credentials. But the brute strength of J-Rock might be the difference maker. His hybrid style of training within the last couple of years have made him a real threat everywhere he's gone. He has made open challenges to any ring of honor star, impact wrestling star. Pick the match, pick the opponent, pick the time, pick the date, pick the match type. J-Rock can win. And D-Ray 3000 will not go down without the fight of his life. And if D-Ray 3000 can beat J-Rock, that would put him in instant title contention in Maximum Assault Wrestling. The feeling out process has begun, but that could end quickly and very, very rapidly. Tie up both men struggling for the near side corner. Clean break, possibly, but not guaranteed by the official in this one, Nate Pierce. The fans are familiar with J-Rock. He is the staple of professional wrestling in Ohio and especially the king of Cleveland. Slide, countered by D-Ray 3000. J-Rock finds an escape, goes for the left arm and wrist. With experience, you know what to do when you're in a position of peril. To take over control of the match and to dominate. J-Rock chopped his feet and then went straight for the eyes with that right hand. A number of MAW stars have done that tonight to score an advantage and J-Rock connects with the elbow smash, putting D-Ray 3000 down very easily. D-Ray powers out of it. Elbow! Rip toss! D-Ray 3000! Drop 
kick for a one count. J-Rock goes to the outside. J-Rock just stole a seat from one of the young fans. He literally yanked him and pulled him out of the seat before sending it in himself. Is something else. How oh, dare you steal a big seat? Swing and a miss. The T Ray doesn't miss. Oh no! Left arm and shoulder into the post. The excitement, the energy, the noise level has been drastically. Reduced because J Rock took advantage of an opportunity and D Ray did damage to himself. J Rock in black with green trim, D Ray 3000 in primarily orange with black trim and white boots. He also has an extraordinary. Head of hair. And he might try to yank and pull some of those strands of hair right out of his skull right here. It's an advantage and a disadvantage. You look the part, but then it's easy to grab. And Jaira paint brushing the chest cavity of D Ray 3000 badly. This man is so amped for MAWs when worlds collide tonight. He knew this was an opportunity he could not pass up. Back in the corner, reversed by J Rock. J Rock runs in, misses everything, dropped hold by D Ray 3000. Elbow smash. Look at the nice sticking and moving encounters. Great quickness exhibited by D Ray 3000 as he's got J Rock stun for the time being. Oh no. Crushing knee. Right to the hip. That almost was the end. J Rock will force you in a dangerous position and he will make you pay if you're not ready. Reverse chin lock executed by J Rock. D Ray 3000 stopping his foot down. He wants to fight back in this one. Swinging hooks. He escapes, but J Rock fouled and connected with the chest and the collarbone. And J-Rock done his damage. And unfortunately, D-Ray's been hurt. Memorable night of action thus far, which has seen its fair share of incredible moments. But the sympathetic fan favor has been devastated maybe one too many times in this one. There have been moments in this match where D Ray 3000 did more damage to himself than J Rock could have ever inflicted. And maybe the conditioning of J Rock is the difference maker because D Ray 3000 can't seem to compete on the same level for the duration of this bout or this night. Look at that! He leapt to the second rope! He missed! But the elbow didn't! Nice head blood! And again, D Ray 3000 changing everything! Scooping body slam! Close. 
He escaped from the skin of his teeth. his feet at the same time. J-Rock shuffled his feet, maintained concentration, and D-Ray 3000 did damage to himself again, but this time he's had it. D-Ray has spotted J-Rock as he delivers fits the pot fits to a score in the corner. Watch out! Oh my, he landed on the apron. He got crowned right there. D-Ray to the top! High cross body press! Oh, so close. Man, I was under the impression that J-Rock was not going to be able to find an escape. That was a picture perfect high cross body press. And J-Rock... Maybe out of instincts alone, kicked out at the last possible moment. Again, right for the eyes. Pile driver instantly. That changes everything. J Rock wins. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the King of Cleveland, the Big Ten. But the concentration of J-Rock was too much tonight.